today I'm walking around Wimble Ball Lake on Exmoor, right in the southeastern corner of National Park. It's the 1st of September today, and for many it's the first day back at work or school after many months of lockdown. I'm free today because I worked Saturday and because of the bank holiday I get the extra day off. Not been here before. Looks like a fairly straightforward walk, not too strenuous. Not my usual kind of moorland walk, but hopefully quite nice. A good chance to get out and see it. I paid four pound to park in the car park all day. I'll be taking in Haddon Hill before the end. So for the most part there's a permissive footpath that follows the lake around the edge. There is just one road section ahead of me crossing over that road bridge. Apart from that it's pretty much a lakeside walk. Brief diversion and you're back on the path. So Haddon Hill will be straight ahead in the far distance. That's where I'm heading but I need to join a quieter road first in order to rejoin the riverside route beyond that crossing. So I started here by the cafe and I came sort of down here, crossed over the road bridge and now I'm down this area. I still got to do all this and around there till I get to Haddon Hill. I don't know where the name comes from but the lake was built in the 1970s, finished in 1979 and the purpose was to collect water from the River Hadio. And the other end of the River Hadio meets the River X a few miles away. I'm only sort of a few miles west or east of um, Dolverton now where I was last weekend. There are a few tributaries to that river but I can't recall what or where they are. Um, it's quite good though that there's a almost complete footpath around the outside because I know of at least two lakes close to the home where there isn't one and there must be like birds and wildlife here as well need protecting and looking after but still we've got all this free access to Rome which is great. So I started somewhere beyond all those boats you can see here they've got sailing and kayaking and stand-up paddleboarding. Swimming is not allowed. There's quite a lot you can do here.
It's getting close to midday now. I'm going to have a short break in the woods here, some shade before I get too near to Haddon Hill. Um, it's been nice and peaceful so far. Really quite tranquil. I had the sounds of the wind going through the trees and the old motorboat going past, some of the waves. It's been quite peaceful. I'll just have some of my flapjack and some malt loaf for now. Have the rest of my lunch up on the hill. So they call this the rugged summer only route but I get to see what's so rugged about it. I've seen much worse up mountains. <laughs> it wasn't too rugged and now we're back on the normal route. Heading towards the dam in about two miles, but going up Haddon Hill before then. So we're not going this way, but the Church of St. James in Upton is off in that direction. I can just see the tower from here between the trees. I think it's a ruined church, I'm not too sure. Maybe next time I'm here I'll, I'll make a detour and visit it. GPS on my phone. This is where I cut through and head up towards Haddon Hill. My phone is saying turn right here but I can't really see too much of a path to be honest. So I might go in Dig along this track a bit further and then zag back on myself further on. I'm going to try this path instead. There's no sign for it. It's not on the map but I'm now on open access land so I can't really go too far wrong. I'm basically following some old horse tracks probably made by wild horses that live here around the area. I'm not far from the right of way I was looking for earlier. And here we have track.
Here we are at Haddon Hill, 355 meters of sea level. Really good views of Exmoor all around. That way is Dunkery Beacon. There's the lake and over there would be the Brendan Hills. Now it's funny really, on the way up here all I could hear was this ominous buzzing sound from the kind of gorse all around me, but I saw very few insects. As soon as I got to that trig point though, they were everywhere, all over me. Quite unpleasant. They were only um, flying ants and they weren't biting as far as I can tell. But yeah, I couldn't stay there for very long. I'm now on my way down to rejoin the lakeside walk back to the car. And while I was up there having my lunch, I did a quick test of my a new stove I bought myself, the Optimus Crux Lite. It's not quite as compact as the MSR Pocket Rocket, but I can say it is a bit quieter to use. It's more like a kind of general gas stove, whereas the Pocket Rocket is very much like a rocket. It's much louder in my opinion. It boiled a 600ml cup of water in about just over three minutes, which is okay for me, with no windshield. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. It's a few grams heavier, it's not quite as compact, but I'm probably going to sell the Pocket Rocket because of the noise value. I'm a very sensitive person when it comes to noise, so for that reason only, it's a very personal thing. I'm not really in favour of keeping it. Haddon Hill's got many nice things going for it, along with the scenery, the views. It's a nice hill that's worth doing. The only real shame is it's a bit kind of isolated from the rest of Exmoor. It's hard to tie in with a longer walk, apart from doing the Wimbledon Lake circuit. First used in 1978. 50 meters high, 300 long. Wild boar. There's been a lot about them on social media the last couple of months, mainly in Germany, terrorizing holiday makers and beach dwellers. But they're extinct in the UK for the time being. All we fear is the cows. All right, I'm into the final mile of my walk now. I'll see me back at the car. That was the dam back there and hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. I'll be away the weekend after you see this one, but I'll try and get a film up soon after, if not then. So thanks again and take care in the meantime.